As I was walking, I noticed this dead penguin that washed ashore. The African penguin is becoming endangered due to overfishing and also the danger of colliding with boats and pollution. There is a place just a few minutes' drive from here that rescues sea penguins and seabirds when they are injured or need rehabilitation. I don't know if you can see its tongue properly, but is really spiky to grip the fish when it hunts for food. I will put it back as there are many sea critters like crabs that will come feast on this dead penguin. Look at this. There are plenty of colorful sea urchins in this rock pool. They usually come in red, pink, and purple in this area. Some sea urchins that are common in warmer and tropical waters are black and have long spikes. You must be careful of touching or standing on them as they have spikes that have tips that can break off under your skin. Let me put these sea urchins back with their friends. This sea creature looks like a gem squash. This one is still small. They can grow almost as big as a soccer ball, but they are not what you expect. They really hard inside and almost feel like wood. This unusual looking creature is called red bait. It makes fantastic fishing bait. I am going to take a little bit as I am planning to go do some fishing later on. I am going to cut some open now to show you what it looks like inside. Often after a storm, the red bait will wash ashore. You can cut them open to collect the meat but be warned. This meat has an exceptionally strong smell that might put most people off. But that's okay as the reward for using this bait will be paid off in good catches. To demonstrate how much fish like this foul-smelling meat, I'm going to put some in the water. You will notice how quickly fish will appear to have a free meal. I'm going to put my snorkel gear on and feed the fish the red bait. You will see how quickly there will be fish all over to enjoy this stinky but tasty meat. I hope you enjoy this episode on tidal pools and the creatures we find in and around them. If you like this video, please like it and don't forget to subscribe that will help me make more videos like this. The fish are really enjoying the free meal today. I noticed a big starfish in the pool. You can also call them sea stars. They are actually really unusual creatures. They don't have a brain. They don't have blood and use seawater instead, and weirdly their eyes are on the tip of their legs. I will put him back in the water to carry on with his day. This tidal pool is full of anemone. It's best not to touch them as some can sting you. Sea anemones can move around on the ocean floor with their foot or better known as a petal disc. They are carnivorous. They will eat small fish, crabs and zooplankton. They are actually related to jellyfish and corals. It looks like there is a lot of food in this rock pool as there are so many of them here. I found this school of fish in this tidal pool. Try spot all the ghost shrimps. There sits a curious octopus. They are chameleons of the sea. It does not know what this GoPro is, so it's trying to feel and taste it now. I must make sure it does not grab the camera as it might disappear into its cave with it. You can see the way it elevates itself. It's trying to see what I am doing, but it also does not hang around far from his hole. Look how curious it is. It's trying to taste if my toes are edible. The suckers feel so weird. I can't really explain it, but it's a rather interesting experience. <laughs> 